I'd like to take a moment to thank my channel members for your continued support. Thank you, and consider joining today for added perks and exclusive content. Hello and welcome, I'm Bert Stormtrooper, and today we're going to be taking a look at the Transformers Legacy Autobot Hot Rod. Released in April of 2022, this is brand new and starting to hit stores right now as of the time of this recording. It is a core class figure and it retails for approximately $10. And here we can see Hot Rod in the new Legacy style packaging, windowless packaging. A lot of people have had stuff to say about that, so yeah, you can reach in there and touch the figure and feel it out. Um, you can, so, you know, no, not, not a whole lot of artwork, at least not for the robot mode, because you can see him right there, but you do have some artwork of Hot Rod up here in his vehicle mode. Transformers logo on the side. On this side right here, you've got a little bit of a splash work. You can see Optimus Prime and a couple of the Autobots. And something that I noticed that was really, really cool when I was picking this up, I also picked up one of the Decepticons. So I'll bring this guy in. And when you put these boxes side by side, you've got Megatron and Optimus facing each other. And then you've got the um, uh, the Autobots versus the Decepticons right there, and it all meets up right here. Uh, very, I just thought that was really cool little detail that they did right there with the packaging. Uh, going around the other side of the packaging, you've got artwork of Hot Rod right there in his robot mode. And then along the back, uh, just just uh, product shots of Hot Rod, both in his vehicle and in his auto. This, this is a new light I'm working with, and I am not used to this. Uh, <laughs> the glare on this thing. But you got the robot mode, you got the vehicle mode, eight steps for transformation. That's about it for the packaging. So let's see if I can figure out these new boxes out. Let's open it up and check it out. And here we have Hot Rod in his vehicle mode, and I'm really, really digging this guy. He's tiny, though. This guy is absolutely tiny. He is a lot of fun to have on the desk and fiddle with. Vehicle mode is approximately three inches long and about one inch tall. Again, very, very tiny little dude. He rolls really nicely. And uh, yeah, just, just kind of taking a look around. It's Hot Rod. I do miss that Autobot logo on the uh, hood right there. I think I may take a Toy Hacks logo and just put it in there and then just take a bl an X-Acto blade and cut it in half. I, I don't know. I may do something there because I do miss that Autobot logo being there. But other than that, the decoration on this guy is really, really, really nice. Done in red. You got that orange hood with the yellow flames. You got that really light blue there on the windows and the windshields. You got silver across the pipes, and then you got the yellow wing. Of course, the, the, the wheels were not painted. These are clips, so these wheels are pretty easy to just pop off. Paint those uh, mushroom pegs and then just pop the wheels back on. So I might do that as well. Not a whole lot to write home about here on the back of the vehicle. But other than that, yeah, you can look underneath on him. You can see Hot Rod. He does have a fake chest. Some of you guys are going to hate that. I know, but it is what it is. It is a tiny figure and engineering only and allows for so much on this. Weapon storage. He came with a sword. Again, I, I, I just don't get the thing with the melee weapons. I don't get the swords and the axes and the hammers and all of that. It's just, it's not my thing. I would have preferred a, a, an actual, like a handgun or something. But uh, anyway, here is, uh, there's a little port right there plug here on the top and you can put that right there and uh, that's his weapon storage if that's a thing you want to do um, I wish there was a way I really I think there, there was a missed opportunity they could have fit there's a little bit of a gap back here they could have done something I think with this where they, this could have plugged in here somehow uh, I think it could have been done. just another pass at engineering I think could have handled that but there you go that is a uh, hot rod in his vehicle mode. A couple of comparisons here. He is with his wave mate Iguanas. And the contrast here is uh, absolutely uh, ridiculous because Iguanas is a motorcycle that stands uh, double the size of this uh, hot rod vehicle. So <laughs> but there you go. So you can see what that looks like. Here he is with um, core class Optimus Prime. So you can see what the two of them are going to look like together. And then I thought this was fun. Here he is with the previous, uh, I, I think they were still being called Legend Class figures uh, at this time. Uh, but there you go. You got Hot Rod right there. Uh, unfortunately, I did not get the red version of this. I only ever found this orange one. I really wish I could have found the red version of this guy. But uh, but again, no, absolutely prefer this guy because he looks more like the original character. So that's really, really neat right there. 
Transforming Hot Rod into his robot mode is super interesting. Here's a term I haven't used in a while, plastic origami. This guy does some really, really neat stuff and some stuff that has never been tried, I don't think has ever been tried for Hot Rod before and it really, really works. So we're gonna start right here with the hood and the roof of the car. And we're just gonna take this whole thing, bring it up and then split it in half just like that. Take the back of the vehicle. We're also going to take the back quarter panels here of the vehicle and we're gonna split these off to the side. There is a double hinge right here where you're gonna see the this leg piece come out. So this is held in place by a couple of things. You got a, a, a hook and a latch right here, but then also if you look on the, let me turn this over. If you look at the bottom of the wing right there, that was also slotted into this slot right there. So this is coming out off to the side and it's unclipping from the front of these um, these pipe pieces and it's also unclipping from the wing right there. So bring that out to the side there. Same thing over here, so just unclip it, shift the entire quarter panel of the vehicle off to the side and then just kind of hinge it down and over. And I've gotten ahead of myself. Okay, so, <laughs> as a, uh, so we're gonna be right about there. Okay, so once we get here, we can go ahead and bring this wing you can go ahead and bring this wing all the way up there's a little uh the, remember the little peg that we put the sword in there's a slot or a hole right here on the report on the back of uh i guess the middle of a shoulder blade so we can bring this all the way up and over and just peg that right in there i said peg it's not pegging all right anyway we'll get back to that bring the leg the rest of the way down on this double hinge those are going to come all the way down and then you're going to bring these panels down and then fold them in half and tap those in place and that's gonna complete the legs. Take the arms and just bring them out. And that is it. Let me uh, look at, see why this isn't. There you go, not a tab then, weird. Maybe the arms are keeping it from doing it. Maybe you gotta wait until the arms are out to uh, get them tabbed in, to get the wing tabbed in. But there you go, there it's Hot Rod in his robot mode, standing approximately three and a half inches tall. So again, sizes up really nicely with the rest of the core class line that we've gotten so far. Taking a closer look at Hot Rod, he looks like Hot Rod. This is a really, really good representation of Hot Rod just done in tiny form. Absolutely love this guy going all the way around. Not a whole lot of kibble. Um, you can say that this is kibble on the back of the legs, uh, and, and I am not going to argue with that. Uh, but I think it, actually that's a pretty good job of, you know, just kind of compacting back there and just kind of tucking away and hiding and, you know, being hidden back there. I like it. Um, maybe they could have done something here to rotate it and put it on the inside of the leg. Maybe if it was a bigger figure, they could have done that. But, you know, at this size, uh, I'm really not expecting that, that whole lot out of it. Um, yeah, no, I think it works really well. And it gives us a really good, tiny representation of Hot Rod, both in his vehicle and in his robot mode for this core class. Absolutely love it. Articulation-wise, uh, let's see, the head can move side to side. Uh, that is not a ball joint. And I also noticed that the back of the head is hollow. So some people may not like that. Shoulders are on a ball joint. Uh, elbows are on a ball joint. Uh, no waist rotation. Hips are on a ball joint. Knees are on a ball joint. Nothing at the feet. But still pretty good level of articulation for this guy. So he does come with a sword. Um, I wonder... Yeah, no, there's really nowhere to put the sword. There's, it'd be cool if you could sheath the sword back here somehow. You can't. He can hold it in his hand. That's about it. So, there he is. He's got his dumb sword. Uh, so he can do sword things with it. <laughs> can you tell I'm not a fan of the sword? So there it is. Hot Rod right there. Let's take a look at him with his Wavemate Iguana. So you can see what the two of them look like together. And again, you know, for... A, a, a figure that in vehicle mode was half the size of this guy. He's done that mass shifting thing and now he's grown and, uh, you know, they're at a comparable height right now. And all of these core class figures do a really good job of really um, uh, leveling with each other in their robot modes. Here he is with that previous Legends class hot rod that I showed you a minute ago. Um, yeah, he, again, grown up quite a bit <laughs> over this guy. Uh, just such a superior figure to this. If you ask me, that's just my opinion. And one more time, here he is with uh, Optimus. So you can see what the two of them look like together. And again, yeah, do a pretty good job of sizing up with each other. And just because I have him here, we didn't. I don't think we looked at him in, in vehicle mode. But here he is with Megatron, who's a little taller because he should be. And it looks really, really good together. So yeah, 
absolutely loving these little core class figures. They're a lot of fun. Uh, they're really cool to have on the desk and just have a little fiddle, do uh, fiddle uh, figures to have here um, next to me on my desk. Very, very fun little figures at $10. Uh, you know, the price is right. Really, really cool figures. I absolutely love them. And I think that about does it for the Transformers Legacy Core Class Hot Rod. What did you think of this figure? Let me know down in the comments. Give me some thumbs up. Subscribe and hit that bell icon so you're notified when I upload a new video. I've got a donate button up there. I also now offer channel memberships. If you're so inclined to do either one of those, I would greatly appreciate it. Please share with your friends if you like what you see. And I'll talk to you next time.